I find that my clients are a lot like me. They feel empowered by a piece of jewelry. They feel like they are stepping into their armor for the day. They're stepping into their true selves. It becomes a part of them and their story. I like to pick a gemstone that I've fallen in love with and create a home for it. I sometimes will sketch something out, but for the most part, I just really like to get my hands on the metal and do different shapes until I find a combination that just works with the stone. So once I find the stone, I'll create the actual setting, whether that be the bezel or if I know I'm gonna prong set it, that'll happen later. I'll shape it and then I'll go over to my soldering bench and I'll solder the seam shut with a little piece of solder, put it in the pickle pot, clean it up, and then solder that to its back plate, which is a sheet of silver. Once I have that, I can start playing with silver wires around it, designing, sometimes I'm hammering pieces to incorporate, sometimes I'm melting pieces to incorporate. It's a lot of cutting and filing and sanding and shaping until I have a finished piece. One of my favorite parts about making jewelry is the finishing of the piece. I've finished the whole creation and I've patinaed it and I'm sitting down to set the stone and even now to this day, actually putting the stone in the piece of jewelry is like Christmas day every single day <laughs> because it comes alive in front of my eyes when I put that stone in. So it's an incredibly satisfying feeling. I just sit back and look at it and it, I, I don't know what else I should be doing with my life, except for that, because it's such a satisfying feeling. I really feel like I'm meant to be doing jewelry. I like to call my jewelry talisman jewelry because I feel like the people that wear it are empowered and connected to the piece. So there's a lot of artistry and storytelling that goes behind the piece. Some of it's very visible and some of it's not so tangible. It's more of something that you feel. So this piece right here, it's called My Mind is My Temple, and it's a figure of a woman's face with a kind of a Taj Mahal looking temple where her mind is. And the day after I turned 39, I had this idea come to me that I wanted to enter my 40s being a little bit stronger in my mental game. Um, I feel like most of my life I've been aligned with the idea of my body is my temple, and I still think that's very important. What we put in our body is what we get out of our body. I was overlooking the power of our mind. I just wanted to re-evaluate that and instead of my body is my temple, my mind is my temple is what struck me. And immediately I had this vision of a woman, woman's face with the temple of, in her mind and, and I knew I needed to make a piece like that so that I could have something tangible to remind me of that to keep my mind on track when it starts to wander and to listen to the voices that are playing, listen to what output I'm putting in. And so this is a very meaningful piece, especially this year of my life as I'm finishing out my 30s. I like to envision the person that is gonna be wearing it. Sometimes I like to think about their lifestyle, uh, what they've experienced in life leading up to that point, what this piece might mean to them, their style, and I just create a person, in my, almost like a character in my head, and I don't necessarily have a face to that character, but I have this idea of a person, and it's always really fascinating to see who falls in love with that finished piece because it's like a discovery for me. Once that connection is made between the client and the piece I made, it's like I was channeling them all along and now I get to meet them. It's a really cool experience. You know, I always say like, on my business card, I'm a liaison between gemstones and their homes because that's how I feel. I'm just a person that connects the people to these stones and creates the homes for them. It's fun. <laughs>